behalf of my minister, Minister Pando, to welcome you in your de in your delegation to South Africa. I am pleased also to receive your ambassador this morning. Ambassador, you're welcome. Thank you. <coughs> our strong bilateral relations augurs well for our two people and our two countries. I wish to convey condolences of our President Ramaphosa, our government and people of South Africa, to the government and people of Tunisia on the passing of His Excellency President Asseps. Your first democratic elected president followed the revolution. Our government is pleased with Tunisia's election as a non-permanent member of the UNESCO for 2020-2021 and extends South Africans' wish to cooperate with Tunisia in ensuring global peace and security. South Africa will work with Tunisia in New York as part of the A3, yes. as well as in Pretoria on the matters that will come before the Council. Together, we can work towards a more proactive approach to the maintenance of international peace and security, particularly in the form of drawing greater attention to preventative diplomatic diplomacy mechanism, as well as post-conflict construction and development. Mr. Secretary, in our upcoming presidency of the Security Council in October 2019, South Africa will lead a Security Council visit to Addis Ababa to participate in the annual joint AUPSC and UNSC consultative meeting. We will continue to pursue AU-UN cooperation during its tenure on the Security Council by addressing the challenges brought about by the funding gap for UN peacekeeping mission. We have also prioritized the role of women in the resolution of conflict. In this regard, South Africa strives to ensure that a gender perspective is mainstreamed into Security Council outcomes. We'll also hold an open debate on Security Council Resolution 1325-2000 pertaining to women, peace and security during our presidency of the Security Council in October this year. In this regard, we will welcome the participation of Tunisia in this open debate on ministerial level. Mr. Secretary, on behalf of Minister Pando and our government, we are fully committed to work with Tunisia during our time on the Security Council on African issues in advancing multilateral solutions to address global challenges such as the question of Palestinian people, peace in Libya, conflict in the Middle East, and cause the matter relating to the right of the Sahari people to self-determination. Mr. Secretary, an issue that our two departments and governments must work on is that of enhancing business and economic ties between our two countries. I am aware that there have been a business delegation from South Africa in Tunisia and in October you will again be receiving a delegation led by our trade and industry department. I hope that the, the, these visits will result in confirmed business opportunities. While we may be at the opposite end of our vast Mother Africa, we must foster close economic ties. I am aware, Mr. Secretary, that we are finalizing the MOU on economic cooperation. Once again, Secretary, I invite you to make your opening remarks. You are warmly welcome in South Africa. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, Excellency.
let me also tell you how I I'm very happy to be here and my first visit in your country and I'm discovering a very beautiful country yes it's uh, also for us very important to be here because we are two countries are, are sharing the same values yes. and same value uh, principles uh, to re reinforce and to strengthen the democratic construction the for our people uh, let me also uh, transmit the greetings of our Minister of Foreign Affairs and for His Excellency, Her Excellency, Ms. 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 Bandor, for also uh, the big friendship that they have. And uh, they have very big cooperation and consultation in the international area. Uh, we uh, had last October the first uh, uh, diplomatic session uh, uh, of our consultation between the ministers of foreign affairs in Tunisia with Mr. Landers and we, as I mentioned, uh, find and appreciate the big potentialities of cooperation between our two countries in many fields and many, many matters like uh, uh, political uh, cooperation, diplomatic cooperation, but also as you mentioned, in the economic fields. We are also very uh, interesting to uh, begin, uh, we are sure, con consolidate uh, con consultation in our uh, same uh, exercise, same homework in the UN Security Council. And as you mentioned, we are very, will be uh, with great pressure participating in the opening, in this open debate that you we in South Africa will organize uh, next October uh, on the peace uh, keeping and, uh, uh, secu and the, the participation of, of women uh, in peacekeeping. This is very important uh, issue, and uh, we it's an occasion also to congratulate and to appreciate uh, the effort that your country is doing in equality, gender, and in the th theme of, uh, of giving uh, more opportunities to women and to young people. Tunisia also in his uh, construction of democracy in the process of uh, con uh, building democracy is uh, giving very big importance and interest to young people, to equality, uh, uh, gender, and uh, also to give more opportunity uh, to, to women in the internal zone. This is very important in the rural zone that women uh, do uh, or have more possibilities to, to, to grow uh, the economic possibilities. This is a very uh, good uh, possibilities of our cooperation. And very, very interested by your experience in this, uh, in this issue. Uh, we we are also uh, reinforcing our uh, uh, cooperation or our uh, facilitating opportunities of uh, meetings between uh, businessmen, between the uh, also the the trade missions is very important from both parts to discover the real potentialities that we have and we can also uh, by signing the agreements that we uh, yet we uh, negotiated and uh, it will be very important to organize the next joint bilateral commission because since uh, tw uh, 20 uh, uh, I think since uh, 2008 we haven't uh, organized this framework and it in the level of the ministers of foreign affairs it will be very interesting to organize this uh, this meeting and it can be in Pretoria because the last one was in Tunisia but yes. we are very open to uh, to organize this uh, commitment and this, this, this engagement uh, to discover also and to build on our possibilities of cooperation. Uh, then we are uh, also very interesting to develop our cooperation in the reform of 
of the African Union because we know that you are really committed in this uh, in these uh, sectors and it's very important today that the Commission of the African Union have the real tools to develop uh, its potentialities and to uh, give real possibilities to our countries, to our people, uh, especially to young people and women. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Excellency, and surely we will have the possibility to develop our, uh, our uh, discussions.